first of all open your browser and search for commerce cross tag here's the link open the link now you will have to right click on your taskbar and open the task manager go to this option and here you'll find your processor details in my case it is ipi triple pro zero now you'll have to go to browser again open another tab and just type like this here your processor name and at the last generation no search and here you can see it's showing fourth generation so you'll have to identify your processor generation now close it now go here and as per your system code then you'll have to download from here and as per your system code then you'll have to search here just type here and here the name will be automatically populated click on here and from the drop down select the latest one whenever you click on it the download will be started and now you can search for branch sabang and here is the link open the github link click on the latest and from there click on third dz stable the download started now you will have to search for grab to win here is the very first link Grab to and download, click on here, click on download, wait a few seconds, the download will be stored. And if you find this type of error, then you will have to click on this drop down, click on this window security, go to virus and threats, go to manage settings, disable all the settings. Turn it on and now close it. Now again click and download. Now it's being downloaded. Now you can close your browser. Now you will have to right click on your storage menu and select disk management. From any bigger drive, you'll have to from any bigger drive, you'll have to choose minimum 100 GB space. Right click on it, click shrink volume. After choosing your desired size, click on shrink. Now an allocated space has been created. Right click on here, click simple volume. Click on next, click on next, click on next. Put the drive name as Chrome OS and click on next. Click on finish. Now it's done. A new drive has been created. Now close it. Go to file explorer. Go to download folder. And here you'll find four things. Express Chromos IMG making code. The downloading link of this code will be given in the description. Select all of them, select cut and go to this PC, go to Chromos Drive and paste them here. Now it's done. Now you will have to right click on Chrome OS, click on extract all and check this. Now it's done. Now you can delete the Chrome OS the file. Now just Select this folder, click on rename, it's any name of this folder, it's done. Open this folder and select this Ramas recovery, select cut, go to back and paste it here. Now we can delete this folder. Now you'll have to open Microsoft Store. Now you'll have to search for Ubuntu and you'll have to download this Ubuntu. Just open it and now click on get. You'll have to wait here until the download is completed. Now it's done, close it. Now click on store it. search for control panel. Open it. Now click on horror and sound. Now click on power option. Now here choose what the power button does. Now click on this change settings. Now from here turn up the plus color. Click on change set changes. Now close it. Now again click on search. Search for turn and here you'll find turn windows features on or off. Open it. Now from here enable windows subsystem pro Linux and virtual machine platform. And now click on OK. Now you'll have to click on restart and when your PC is restarting you'll have to another boot menu. To another bias menu you can check this photo otherwise you can search on Google. Now here you'll have to search for Intel virtualization technology just enable it. Now if your keyboard is enabled you'll have to disable it. After setting all the changes you'll have to press on your keyboard F10 and choose yes and hit the arrow key. Now after restarting your PC click on start and open the Ubuntu. Just wait a few seconds to install it. Now here you'll have to enter your username and hit the enter key. Now here you'll have to type the password whichever you want to keep and hit the enter key. You can type the password and hit the enter key. Now it's done. Now you'll have to go to the Gomez drive and you'll find the code. Open it one by one. Copy them. Now copy the first command and paste it here. Click on the enter key. Type the password of your Linux and hit the enter key. Just wait a few seconds. Now it's done. Now select the second command, copy it, right click on here and hit the ring. Now it's done. Again copy the third line, paste it to here. Now it's done. Now go here, go to this piece and in my case the Thomas drive is D drive. Now you'll have to play select this here with the name of your drive letter. So like this and copy. Next to T and hit the arrow key. Now it's done. Now type LS and hit the arrow key. Now here select the branch and on your keyboard press Ctrl plus C. The name is copied. Now here select this, right click on it, paste it. Now you'll have to select the full command line, copy it, 
paste it here now just hit the arrow key now we'll have to wait for a few minutes now it's done now you will have to select this chrome os file to the bin by control plus c name is stop it now here select this chrome os to the bin right click on it paste it name is pasted now here it should be there chrome is repair by the image now after is for the space and this is the drive size after space you will have to choose your drive size for example if your drive contains 100 gigabytes free space then you will have to choose the size here 90 gigabytes if here is 90 gigabytes free space then you have to choose 80 gigabytes that means always choose the size of the image 10 gigabytes lesser than the drive size. I hope you will understood. Now you will have to copy the full command line. Right click on it, copy it. Minimize this and just right click on here and hit the arrow key. Now you will have to wait for 15 to 30 minutes to complete the process. Now here it is done. Here you will have to type this command. Select this command, control plus C and right click on here, click the arrow key. Now it's done. Now just close it. Open the file explorer, go to this PC and here is the Chrome S drive. Now you can delete this files, means branch. This is the main file. Delete this. Also delete this. And make sure the Chrome S recovery.img drive. This file should be there. Don't delete this. Open it. Press Ctrl A, hold select it and copy it. Now close it. Now you will have to click on this icon and open this Microsoft Security. Go to virus and threats, click on manage settings, turn off everything, click on yes. Microsoft Defender and virus protection should be turned off. Now you'll have to open this web tool folder, double tap on it, click on more info run anyway. Click on yes, click on ok. Now click on setup. Now click on close the program. Now here, select the display resolution. The display resolution should be as per your system resolution. You know your system resolution, right click on the display, click on display settings, and here is the resolution. You will have to choose this resolution. Now click on OK. Click on close. Again, open the graph to win. Click on yes. OK. Now click on manage with menu. Click on add a new entry. On the drop down, select sub menu. Put the name as Chrome OS, and here select your screen resolution. And now click on edit custom code. Right click on here and paste the code. Now it's done. Close it, click on save, click on OK, OK, click on OK. Now it's done, click on OK, click on Y. Now click on OK. Now it's done. Now you will have to restore your PC. Now on the screen, you will have to select your Chrome OS and hit the arrow Just wait a few seconds. Again, select branch and hit the arrow You'll have to wait for the first time here. Let's select the Chrome OS. And your Chrome OS is ready. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Chrome OS 12 Boot Windows 10.